In this video, I'm going to show you how to image RAM using FTK Imager. First, open your incident thumb drive, then go to your RAM Imager tools. Select FTK Imager, then double click it to start. Let's wait for the installation process. Click next, then the user agreement for this app will pop up. Select the I accept option, then just continue clicking next. Then install. And click finish. The FTK Imager app is now open. What we need to do now is to look for the capture memory icon. The capture memory icon looks like an animated picture of the RAM. For some people that are not good with icon, we can just go to menu bar, just go to file, then look for capture memory. And they just work the same thing. Now, click the capture memory. A dialog box for memory capture will now appear. Click browse to select the destination path for the image RAM. So in this case, I'm going to select in my incident response thumb drive, the folder name, exported data, then just click OK. The next thing that we need to consider is to change the name of this file. It is important to change file names so we can easily find them. Especially if we have multiple files of image RAM. Do not check include page file and create AD1 file. Just go straightly, clicking the Capture Memory button to start the process. Now, let's just wait until it's finished. Then, click Close. The last thing that we need to do is to check the image RAM on your incident response thumb drive. 